Hey everyone, Mass Bandit here with another episode of Planet Bro Coaster. This is going to be episode 6. And uh, I'd just like to say a happy holidays to everyone. Happy Merry Christmas and all that stuff. Uh, this episode's coming out right before the big push into the holiday season. And I won't have another episode until after Christmas. So if you celebrate, and even if you don't, hey, happy holidays, happy winter. Hope you have a great time. Um, with that being said, today we are going to do some work. Uh, this is where you last saw the park uh, by the one and only N7. Turn my volume down here. It's kind of loud. All right, that's better. Okay, so um, we went in and you might notice, hey, that wasn't there in your last video. You're right. Uh, we went ahead, N7 and I, together and sort of fleshed out the a bit of a layout here. So I know what's going to be going here. You don't, and that's why you're here, to see all that. Now, one of the cool things, kind of the pulling back the curtain a little bit, you can see what our pathing system actually looks like before we uh, edit it. Now, the issue we have is that uh, these pieces here, these octagons, these are on flat land. They're really easy to use. The This area is on an ever so gentle slope. You can see here we're slowly making our way down, which means that those flat pieces aren't going to work. So we had to find something else, something that you can rotate uh, with the advanced options. And we actually found these. These are those, uh, what are they called? These are the hope they're in here. Oh, come on, load. These, 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 the wooden corbel, corbel, corb, corbel, corbel. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we did that was kind of our test. It looks okay. Like, if you're not looking for them, you don't really notice it, hopefully too much. Um, but, yeah, so that's what we're going to do so today. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plop down a train station because <coughs> we're going to use the Connie Express. And it's going to go in this general area here. So I'm going to plop that down. Hoo-hoo. Says the choo-choo. And um, now we were talking, and we want it set back a ways, and we want it raised. But we don't want it. Anyway, we want it raised up a little bit. Nothing too crazy, you know. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I want to have enough room for a building. Um, I'll put it there. And now I'm going to actually extend the station. Good. So we've got our five. So as you're looking in here, you'll see. Oh, look at there's a train station there. Actually, I think I want to scooch it up. Um, do I? Yeah, I want to scooch it up a little bit. And here's what I'm going to do. Um, I want to create kind of a berm for it to sit on. And so what I'm going to try to do, I'm not sure it's going to work. We're going to try it. So that shows where my station needs to line up when I'm done. So I'm going to move my train. Move. And now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise the land. And don't worry if you're like, oh my god, what are you doing? Um, I have a plan. <laughs> Not sure if it's going to work, but I have a plan. What we're going to do is we're going to put the, the actual station kind of here-ish. And then we're going to, yeah, it's going to take up about the first two cars. And then we'll have a little bit of platform for the engine, and then a much longer platform on this side that'll kind of be obscured, hopefully, by buildings and stuff. The terrain is so frustrating in this, and I might just lose my mind. All right, now that we've moved it about a gajillion-ish times... Damn it! <laughs> it's too far back! Oh, are you kidding me? I flipped the station around the wrong way. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then what we're going to do, please have the path work the way I want it to. Okay, so that's apparently the best I'm going to get. 
Like, seriously. It did really upset to me that they can't be even. That's killer. That's absolutely killer. And it is too close now. We need to move it. We need to move it back. Alright, so I think I finally... After for frick never... I think I finally have something that I can live with for these paths. But God, why does it do that? Oh, that is so frustrating. Hold on. I'm going to fix this. Okay. So, I think I've fixed it. I think. I hope. I hope so. Because I'm about ready to put this game through a flipping window. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create something of a berm for this train station to sit upon. I'm, I'm, I'm really not too sure if this is going to look, um, I don't know, good. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> King Coaster. He, who, he's waving to nobody. Jeez. I love the noises that guy makes, though. Enough, because I'm going to pull my hair out if we keep going like this. I'm going to absolutely lose my little mind. Okay. Actually, I can't. I can't. I can't just... I can't leave it well enough alone. I have to fiddle. Oh, I can get right on it. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to get right on it. I'm going to scooch it down. Shoom. Can I do this? Yes. Oh, good. Good. Something. Something is finally coming up Millhouse. Alright. So I plopped a roof line on just to see what I think. And I think I like it. Um... And I got a better idea. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna raise this part. Now see, that looks too big. Yeah, I don't like that. So let's undo all this. I've seen this technique done by a lot of different people. Guess it's my turn to do it now, eh? This way we can get our roofs to actually. Ex Extend out a little bit. Now that means I have to be very careful with which thing I'm picking. See how our, our roof is now ever so gently? Alright. I think that's going to be much better. Yeah, I think that'll be... So that's kind of what I'm thinking here. This, this little clock tower thing. and Obviously we'll dress it up. It's not finished. Um... But the general shape, I think, will be good. All right, new build, or not new build, new day. Uh, sat on it, slept on it. This berm's going. F it. F it all. We just spent six minutes in the video building the berm. Um, yeah, no, it's going. I'm going to say berm a few more times, though. Berm, 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 berm. Berm. Goodbye. Get the f*** out of here. Nobody wants you here. God. Oh, I hate you. Alright, so a bit of a snag. When I built the, uh, when I moved it, I got rid of the stupid terrain. I actually screwed up the, I had to move the station and that screwed up the scenery. So I had to delete it. <laughs> of course I did. But to be fair, I wasn't really, um, all about it anyway. So well, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna gripe too hard. Except I totally will. All right, so let's build the uh, station again, and let's be a little more careful about what we are actually doing because we're gonna start getting closer to the uh, final build idea here. At least that's the that's the goal. It's the goal. 
Ah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah. All right, let's put this down. All right, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but we're getting there. I'm getting some pieces I like and some textures I like, and we're going to build this. The tower is going to be scooched up a little bit in front of everything. And the issue we're going to have is since we have no half wall tile pieces, we're going to have to jimmy rig something here. So, going on a hunt. All right, so I finally think I'm on the right track. Obviously, these purple roofs need to go, but um, I I think I think I like it. I think we're headed in a good place. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing. All right, so as you can see, we've got some details, got some windows and dressed up the oh i forgot to do one of these Yeesh. <laughs> yikes that would have been interesting let's do this so this is the direction we're headed in i kind of dig it um i think it's gonna be good well, we're gonna see we're gonna see i want to put in a couple little rocks here just to just a few Awesome. I'm going to keep plugging away on this. Let's see what else we can do. We need to add some fences here so nobody falls off. Ooh. Let's see. I kind of want to beef up the posts. Can I do that without... Let's see if I do that, I'm going to lose the detail. Decisions. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, I think that looks way better. Awesome. So now we have to do that to all of them. Still building. We're in another day, and I actually built this, and uh, I don't like it. So <laughs> I'm going to delete everything here except for the posts and maybe the roof line. So it's another build. It's another day here. Uh, boy, it's been um, been a hell of a week. Um, real busy with my real life stuff so I didn't get nearly as much accomplished as I was hoping for but I have a couple more chances to build here and my goal is to get another building what's going to be our emporium our main gift shop that's my goal today so, I do believe I am going to go ahead and start with this. I have a picture for reference here that I really want to use. So, we're going we're, we're gonna to see what happens. So, we're actually going to jump into time lapse for this. And uh, then we're going, I'm going to do some voiceover outside the program so you can see what's going on. All right, so here we are in our time lapse of our uh, future emporium. And the first thing I wanted to solidify was this uh, overhang here. I wanted to make sure I could get uh, some nice eaves, some nice uh, roof eaves. And the first couple times I tried it, uh, I was having a hard time figuring out how I was going to get those eaves to work. But um, after some fiddling, I found a system that worked really well. Duplicating and then turning the duplicated pieces into their own piece. And then just using the advanced move tools. And that really helped me. So I didn't have to fiddle. And once I figured that trick out, it actually went much quicker than I thought. Um, the picture I'm looking at for reference, uh, I, I googled Rocky Mountain Architecture and did a search. And this is actually a house um, from Idaho, somewhere in Idaho. That was the inspiration. Uh, essentially, the beams and posts and all that are the main part and the general shape are the inspiration but it's a pretty loose inspiration if you ever found the uh, if you ever found the image you'd, you'd notice it's a pretty loose variation uh, or recreation so yeah so that's what's going on let's just watch it be built things that I was really trying to work on with this was scale. Uh, Mike and I knew we wanted this building to be big, 
but we didn't want it to dwarf anything. And so as we built, I kept trying to make sure that it didn't get over the top. And where possible, I was able to shrink it back down to a more, um, I guess, a more, a smaller size. So that was my thought process here behind the build. We knew this building was going to be one of the biggest in the park, but we still didn't want it to be, you know, gargantuan. So once we got that tower piece, that kind of tower thing solidified, it was time to start fleshing out some more parts of the building. And the right side came together way quicker than the left side did. And here we're placing some doors. And uh, I actually like this little trick of flipping the door around, making the door look a little more grand. Oh, that was a neat little trick. Working with these posts was a mega chore here, but I really think the result was uh, was pretty was pretty strong. I liked the look it gave. It's a very subtle, um, it's a very subtle detail the the way the roof or the way the the trim kind of bends, but I really like it. If 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 you it's subtle enough, but I think it's a nice little addition. I think it's better than just straight up and down, straight up and down the. Here's one of those examples where we actually shrunk the building a little bit. You saw me drop the roof line by about uh, three feet there. One height tile or whatever that was. Um, I got rid of that and it, just, it felt a little too large. And then I felt like it was too flat, so I needed this little extension here. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're, we're just trying to make the shape a little more interesting while staying predominantly on a grid. There's no real angle part to this building. So here we're just adding some more of that, those trim pieces, all the wood beams and stuff that's going to be kind of an iconic part of the style of the entrance of the park here. And then from there it's just doing some landscaping and some final details. Uh, once this little part's over we'll switch to a few real-time flybys, a few cinematic options and then that'll wrap up the video. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, can't wait to see what... Uh, <laughs> Can't wait to see what N7 says about what I've built this week. Hope he likes it. Tune in to the next episode of Roadcoaster and find out. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.